In other news, Israel's military campaign in the Middle East targeting Hamas and Hezbollah continues to endanger the efforts of UN peacekeeping workers, especially in Lebanon. Harpak Gonu reports. Global concerns rise over ongoing attacks in the Middle East. Through a statement on Monday, the UN Security Council strongly condemned Israel for the wounding of five UN interim force peacekeepers during recent Israeli attacks in southern Lebanon. Though not specifically mentioning Israel or the Hezbollah militants, the statement urged all parties to respect the safety and security of UNIFIL personnel and UN premises. It also pledged support for the peacekeepers while underscoring their role in protecting regional security. This comes as Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu repeatedly warned the UNIFIL to leave southern Lebanon temporarily as they are operating in the area. The council members also show deep concern at civilian casualties while saying all parties should comply with international humanitarian law. But on Monday, Israel expanded its targets to the northern part of Lebanon. According to Lebanon's health ministry, at least 21 people were killed and eight injured during an airstrike. Israel has so far been mainly focusing on the suburbs of Beirut and south and east parts of Lebanon. Residents in Israel had to evacuate when projectiles were fired back across the border, although no injuries were reported. Israel also attacked the courtyard of the Al-Aqsa Hospital in Gaza's Deir al-Bala, which left at least five people dead and dozens wounded. The Israeli military said they aimed to attack Hamas's command center near the hospital while blaming the militant group for using civilian infrastructure. Pakonu, Arirang News.